Understanding the MPC Beats user interface will make it fast and intuitive for you so you can spend all your time making music. Now the first thing you will see is the 16 MPC pads. Using the pads you can trigger drum samples, instruments, you can play scales and chords and when in sample edit mode you can use the pads to chop up your samples in real time. Above the pads, we have MPC Beats' drum grid. Use this to build up your beats. You can add notes, copy, paste, arrays, and build the foundation of your production. When using instrument tracks, the grid will show a piano roll on the left-hand side, allowing you to draw in and insert your melodies and chords directly into the piano roll. We can edit, lengthen, copy and paste our notes to undo keeping you creative. You can also visually see waveforms and MIDI list information from the same screen. Above this, we have the MPC Beats toolbar. This gives you key information so you can tailor your workflow more efficiently. We can access our tempo information, also known as BPM. So to change this, simply drag your mouse up or down to adjust the tempo. We can turn the metronome on and off and adjust the volume. We can see our counter display, tap tempo, and our master and sequence tempo. To the right, we have our transport controls, which allow us to record into MPC beats. We have record, overdub, stop, play, and play from start. Then we have automation, read and write. When red, it will record any real-time parameters. When green, it will play them back. Next to this, we have our auto scroll. This will follow our timeline on our drum grid. Here, you can control what triggers MPC pads, if it's your keys, your pads, or your computer keyboard. Then we have our undo and redo. If you implement notes or make any mistakes, simply press the undo and revert back to your last arrangement. Then we have our home button. This will always navigate you back to our main page. Next to this, we have Track View. This displays all of our track and MIDI information in one screen. Next to Track View is Program Edit. Program Edit allows us to customize our samples and instruments with key parameters. Then we have our Track Mixer. This allows us to control the levels of our production. We can control our pad, instrument, track levels, add plugin effects, returns, and master outputs. Our last tab allows us to access key functions inside MPC Beats, such as the step sequencer, sample edit, song mode, looper, and much more. To the left of this, we have our inspector. The inspector allows us to create and change your sequences, tracks, and programs. Now a sequence is the name of your beat. This can be also known as a pattern. To name a sequence, simply double click and then name your beat. Below this is our bar length. Now for most beat production, you'll find between four and eight bars is widely used. Underneath this, we have our loop on and off. When loop is on, it will continue cycling around your pattern so you can keep adding ideas over your beat. Then we have our tracks. MPC Beats allows you to record up to eight drum or instrument tracks and two stereo audio tracks for adding vocals and guitars to your productions. MPC Beats comes with a collection of tools so you can edit your audio. We can slice, time stretch, fade in, fade out, reverse and affect the volumes on any audio region. Then we have track type. This allows you to choose the type of instrument that you want to record on a track, such as drums, plug-in instruments, sample-based instruments. This is great for using the F9 instrument expansion, MIDI for external synthesizers and modules, clips for clip launching loops, or for more advanced users, CV gate for modular racks. To control your track volumes, 
unhide the channel strip at the bottom of the UI. This will now display your mixer levels. You can adjust the volume, pan in and route your pads and tracks along with mutes and solos. Then we have Q-Link controls. These are assignable controls that you can customize by having key parameters that you can assign to your controller. We can control everything from filters through to swing, to effects plugins, to key mixing parameters. Then we have pad performance. This allows you to effortlessly use the pads to play chords, scales, and progressions in the key of your songs. To access MPC Beats' sound library, go to the expansion browser on the right-hand side of the UI. Here, you can see the factory expansions with drum kits and samples all ready to load onto your productions. You can also expand your sound library with MPC Beats Edition expansions, giving you a world of sounds from Decap Drums at Knock, Arab Music, and many world-class sound designers. We can also expand our views in MPC Beats, giving you a bigger workspace. We can expand our grid, so it's full screen. We can add a keyboard, so we can see all of our MIDI notes. And you can open up a separate mixer tab, and you can drag this to a second monitor so you can visually see two screens of MPC Beats. We can also hide our cue links, our pad performance, and our projects, giving us more workspace. Now let's expand our grid. Now you know how to navigate around MPC Beats. On our next video, we're gonna be making our first beat, walking you through the process. See you next time.